up everybody so today well actually tonight because it's like 9 p.m but i received some requests to do a nail tutorial on these nails right here so i posted up a picture on my instagram um a few days ago with my nails with the tortoise shell um, i have a few swatch sticks right here that i tried out before doing it on myself so i had to make sure that i got the colors right and all that you know so it's real simple y'all it doesn't take long at all so hopefully this will be a short video but let's start with the colors that you're going to need so the first color um to get that amber looking color this is presto um in the number oops number 161 so it's like a yellowish brown, but it's sheer. So that's that color you'll see right here. But if you don't have this, I don't even know if they still make this color anymore. You can take a yellow, a warm tone brown, and a clear coat, like a clear top coat, base coat or whatever, to sheer it out. So I also have a sheer yellow. So if you have a sheer yellow, you can add a warm tone brown to it. You know, and just until you achieve, you know, like that, this uh, amber light color. So that's a few options for you. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to do it on some swatch sticks. Well, a swatch stick. Since my nails are already done. As you see, I only have it. I don't have it on this hand because I'm right-handed. So trying to do it with my left hand, I was like, eh, I don't know. So let me grab my swatch stick. And what you're first going to do is do one thin, I'm trying to make sure I'm in the frame, one thin coat of this. So get in the frame. So just a thin coat. Ooh, this is hard, y'all. It's like so far away from me. So, like so. Okay. So, you see that? And I'm going to let that cure. And while that is curing, ooh, I don't want to open these yet because <laughs> it's too close to my light. So, <laughs> I have a cool tone brown and a black that we are going to use for the spots. So, so you'll need your sheer mustard yellow color. You'll need a cool tone brown. You'll need a black, and then you'll need a sheer yellow. And you'll see what I'll do with the sheer yellow. So yeah, so you need four colors in all. Alrighty, that's long enough. Now I'm going to go in with another thin layer of the amber color, but this time we are not going to cure it. So as you can see, starting to build some color up. Like that, I think I'm gonna go in with just a little bit more. I love this color. Even by itself, it's a pretty color. Okay. So, like this. Let me move this out of the way. Now, you're going to grab your cool tone brown. Remember, do not cure that. Because you're going to just get you a little brush and dip it in the color. Am I in the frame? Yes, okay. So don't get too much, but try to work it into the bristles. Alrighty, should be good. Oops, grab too much. Okay, so now you're just going to make little brown spots need more 
and that layer, that uncure layer is going to help it kind of like disperse the color, if that makes sense. And I've seen people do this with um, blooming gel. I'm trying to, y'all know how I am. If y'all seen my soap making videos, I be trying to be Miss Perfect. <laughs> so just make them move it around. The shapes, of course, are not like a perfect shape or identical to each one. And let's do, oops, let's do one over here. If you have gel paints, this would be even better because I'm trying to glob this brown on here so that it's not shared out while I'm mixing it with the um, amber color beneath. And gel paints are like more opaque. I'll just keep making little brown spots. And let's do one down here. All right, so I think I'm gonna do, let's do one up here, just a little one. So I'm really trying to take up the space. I've tried it with like little blotches. I didn't really like it. So I tried to, um, we'll stop right there for that. So that's what you should have, something like that. And we're gonna cure this. And while that's curing, I'm gonna take my acetone and clean off the brush. I do not wanna get this acetone on my desk. Ooh, tragedy. And I got my brown open in front of the light. Oh my goodness, y'all, just not together. Okay, that should be long enough, 30 seconds. Now, I'm gonna take my black. And go over the brown spots we just created. So we don't need to put another layer down um, for the colors to disperse. I'm just gonna take some black. Ooh, I can't see with this bright light. Okay. And get a little closer. And then just make sure you get some black on the brown, but also bring it outside of the brown. See what I'm doing? Make sure y'all can see. Like that. And then just like that. Real simple, y'all. And then we'll do this right here. We'll add a little bit over here. So just get creative with it, like. You don't want it to look uniform. Then we'll do, this is awkward. Then since I don't have any, like since I have all this space right here, I'm gonna add some black to it right there, just to take up that space. Fill in the space. All right, so we have that, it looks like that, focus camera. Focus, focus, it won't focus. 
And since I have this little bitty space right here, I'm just gonna add some black. Um, Cause you know, it could be a brown spot that we don't see. So just pretend like there's a brown spot outside of the black. <laughs> and then you should have this. So this is where we are and we're going to cure it. Guess what y'all, we are almost done. I'm telling you it's easy pacey. If you're using regular fingernail polish, you know, all of the same steps. Of course, you just don't have to cure. So, what's on with the brush? And now, take your sheer yellow. And go over it. Just go over it all. I've tried this where I've did it with the amber color over it and it just darkens it up too much for my liking. But you might like it. I just like the tone that this um, yellow, the sheer yellow gives. So, like that, we cure it. And then once that's done, we'll put on the top coat. And that's it. And then I'm putting on my top coat. I'm just using D and D. I love their top coat. It's only thing is it's so um thin, it floods your cuticles. So you have to use a you know a light amount. But on the swatch stick, it's fine. But it's very shiny. And it stays shiny. So we just cure it, and once it's cured, we're done. That's a no wipe top coat. So you don't have to wipe it. All done. And this is what we have. Let me step out of my chair. I don't know why this won't focus. Focus on this. <laughs> Goodness. So yeah, that's what the end result looks like. Let me set this down. I don't know why my phone, I'm recording on my phone, she's using my camera. Let me zoom in. But that's what it looks like, y'all. Y'all get it. <laughs> so hopefully that helps. Like I said, it's real easy peasy. You can do it. I know everybody's stuck in the house, quarantined. Um, so try it out on your nails. And if you do and you post it on Instagram, tag me please so I can see. Um, I'll put my, y'all know I don't have a personal Instagram, or maybe you don't know, but I don't, but I will put my, um, Dawkins Aroma Instagram handle right here and be sure to tag me. So like I said, I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.